was something that you never told your ex. So somebody I was living with after him, but like his home, the dude, homeboy, my cookie, and I went to go f the dude I was living with. Hey, what's something that I never told your ex? Um, I didn't give him per I gave him time at all. Hey, what's something that you never told your ex? <laughs> I give the police his address. Why do you say that? Because he dogged me out, so I gave the police his address. <laughs> hey, what's something that you never told your ex? Um, I cut off one of his dreads while he was asleep so I could keep it and perform voodoo on him. Hey, what's something that you never told your ex? I broke up oh. with him to go see a guy I had met in Mexico who lives in Wyoming, and I lived in Louisiana. I didn't like him anymore like the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only dating him because I'm afraid of saying no to people. Hey, what's something I never told your ex? That most of the time, I never used to text him. He used to be my cousin. Hey, what's something that you never told your ex? So <sighs> it's a cold world out here. It's a cold world out here, my boys. You ain't safe. You ain't safe. But I, the shorty that says she cut this man dreads off so she could perform voodoo on him, I ain't gonna lie. You, you too cute to be doing all that. I've heard something, actually. While we on the topic of voodoo, I've heard something. I've heard that if a chick cooks for you, and put her coochie hair in the food and you eat it. No, it's not her coochie hair. If she put her uh her menstrual situation as an extra ingredient in your food, you're gonna be hooked to her for life. Um people in the world who practice voodoo, is that true? Is it true? <laughs> hey, bro. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm not tripping. Because I feel as though I've been to this place before. Where this happened at is called South City Kitchen. Okay, I think it's in like Buckhead. I'm going to be honest with you. This is one of the reasons why I don't like clubbing in Atlanta. Because the bouncers be on some other shit. I've never had a situation where a bouncer had to throw me out of the club. I've never had a situation where a grown-ass man hem me up like that. I don't ever want to be in that predicament because I'm going to be honest with you, son. I might crash out. I'm being real with you. As a, as a, as a man, as a peaceful individual, let me explain why I say this, right? I've been to the club where I've seen bouncers plot. A guy would walk in there with his girl. From the moment they get in the line, the bouncers might say some slick shit. Might say some slick shit to the dude's girl. Now, I ain't gonna lie. You kind of wrong for bringing your girl to the club. I don't believe that you and your girl should go to the club. That's just something I'll go by. But at the same time, you bring your girl to the club. The bouncers low-key disrespect you by saying some slick shit to her in front of your face. You might check them about it. Now, the rest of the night, they on your ass. Bro, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That shit kind of got me mad because I, I, I've seen this shit play out firsthand. I understand why you need security at the club, but at the same time, a lot of times, security be antagonizing these situations. They be escalating these situations because they want to put hands on somebody so bad. I'm telling you, bro. I go to the, I go to the club at, bro. Let me calm down, bro. I just put one in the head for no reason. But I, I go to the club and then do some shit like that to me, bro. I'm I'm a you, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh nah. Yo, he killing her. He killing her. Hey, cuz that that wasn't no goddamn chiropractic shit. He 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 did it hard as hell. I be wanting to go. I be needing to go to the chiropractor, but I'm scared. I've heard situations of um people getting crippled 
after going to the chiropractor. No, I'm gonna get my own clothes. No, you're not gonna get shit. Like, on okay. my soul, on my daughter, you're not all gonna right, get well, shit. You can be drunk here all you want to. Okay, I'm gonna be real drunk here when my people beat your ass. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. At least gonna beat your ass, and my people gonna beat your ass. Okay. Because I'll, I'll call the police. I know you'll call the police. I know you call the police. You want me to do? No, that's what you. That's what you always wanted to do. That's, that's why I don't need to be with you. That's what you want me to do. Okay. No, I don't you want to do that. You told me to call my people. You told me to call my dad. No, you told me to call these people. Yeah, go ahead. I said go ahead and get your money no, so I can go. That's what you told me. To I said all you gotta do is get your money so I can go. You told me to do. Okay, whatever. You want me to do it? You told me to do it. All right, whatever. All I'm trying to do is go out the door. Y'all see this on camera. I'm trying to leave out the door. Hey. Get away from the situation and make things better for me. Hey, hold on. I've reacted to this video before, but I only saw this part where she was holding on to him. I didn't see it the beginning. She was talking tough at the beginning. That's what happened when you hit the bottom. That's what happened when you hit the bottom. But um, I can't seem to uh, go. So when the police get here, you will see. Because I'm going to have to remove her from me physically. I'm trying to be polite and just walk out and, and, and have a great day. But um, she won't get off me. Can you please get off me? I'm okay. asking her twice. I'm asking Can you down. please get off of me? Okay, I'm asking you to sit Can down. Can you please get off of Gary, me? Gary, please don't put your hands on. I'm begging you, please sit down, Gary. Please, please don't leave me. Please. 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 You see this, right? Gary, you see this? Please, I'm trying to go. Please. I'm trying to go. Look at me. Look at me. Look I don't want to be with you. I will give you whatever. I don't stop, want nothing stop. from you. I want to get away from you. Gary, I want my freedom please. from you. Damn. I'm to get my, my boy said I want my freedom from you. But let me tell y'all boys something. That's what happened when you hit the bottom. It's a lot of it's a lot of women out here that's gonna say, oh, sex don't matter. But I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, if you hit the bottom the right way, now I ain't talking about you just pounding shit and, and you touch the bottom and you then you got her walking. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about you you hit the bottom the right way. You know what I'm saying? You might just you feel what I'm saying? You, you you know when to hit bricks. Okay? Some of y'all, some of y'all blessed. No homo pause. Some of y'all are blessed. But some of us are blessed. Let me let me <laughs> you let me not let me not be uh uh modest. I'm short, but I I ain't short all the way. You feel me? But some some people are blessed and and you know some people with their blessings don't know how to use it. I'm just being honest. I've heard this. Some people with their blessings don't know how to use it. But some of us, you know, we went to driving school and we know when to slow down. You feel what I'm saying? You feel me? You feel Look, some of y'all understand what I'm saying. But look, you know what? I don't want to get demonetized because it sounds this sound like I'm, I'm giving uh, porn instructions. But all I'm saying, bro, if you blessed enough to hit the bottom, understand how to hit the bottom. Get your rhythm together. Get away from my I know who you are, bro. Away from my I know car. who you are. Are you threatening me? I know me? who you are. Are you threatening me? I know who you are. Are you threatening me? Don't ever touch my car again. Don't ever touch my car Can again. Don't ever touch my car again. Don't you me again, bro. Don't stare at me, bro. I know where you live. You live right there, bro. Are you threatening me? I'm not threatening you, bro. Then why are you pointing at my house? I'm not pointing at you, bro. That's a difference. That's a big difference, Are you bro. threatening me? I'm not threatening you. Fuck that door. Do you up right now, bro? Walk right there again, motherfucker. Get away from my Ma? car. Get away from my Ma? car. Ma? Get away from my Ma? car. Come on, bro. I'm calling the police. Fuck you, Dr. Fuck shit, I'm calling the police. He calm as hell. All I'm going to say is, if I'm in fear for my life, I'm going to do that to you. The reason I, I could confidently say that is because I don't bother anybody. It's a cliche thing to say, but I am one of the most fun-loving people that you can be around. I like to crack jokes, you know, and... If I don't have anything to say, I'm not going to say anything. If I feel as though a situation is getting tense, I will remove myself from the situation. 
So, if it gets this far, it's on you. The ball is in your court. You have home court advantage. But best believe, you ain't going to win that game. Human beings can smell fear. If you don't stand up for yourself, they're going to keep escalating the shit because they feel as though they found a victim. Once people see a sign of weakness, they feed off of that. And a situation that could probably be over it, they're going to keep escalating it. And they're going to keep going and going and going and going. Because a lot of motherfuckers is pussy in real life. And they looking for somebody that they can take advantage of.